Hey besties, welcome to my channel. If this is your first time here, hello, hi, my name is Jian, welcome. And if you're over a goodie, thank you so much for coming back. I truly appreciate you guys so much. So we are coming here with a force. Let's in the army, but we go as in our. Besties, today I did not script this video. Most of my video they're not scripted, but I just want to tell you guys so that way I hope I'm not going to be all over the place, but I really want this to get through you. I know I have young audience, okay? Most of you are from 13 to 25. I I know this because I check and I do have older women out here, which I do appreciate because I want you guys to even men like if you have any advice anything to add into this video you can leave it in the comment section okay it might help someone else out there just be kind and be gentle okay thank you so <laughs> i'm kind of nervous i hope i don't cry in this video because i'm really just gonna be vulnerable with you guys i want i want to let you guys in because i want to be able to help even if it's one person I want to be able to help someone out there okay so by the title you already know what I'm gonna talk about so in today's video I am going to tell you guys the things I wish I knew sooner in my 20s I'm 29 now I'm going to be 30 soon and these are the things I wish I knew <sighs> guys life will be life okay and there's no book that will teach you how you should be living like there's no rule there's nothing well there is rule but there's not a book that you know instructions about life you live and you learn period and I want to help someone even if it's one person to avoid the mistakes that I have made you know in my early 20s because I wish I had someone sat me down and talked to me about this stuff it would help a lot okay so I want you to listen okay I want you to listen okay I'm talking to you as your as your big sister okay <laughs> I need you to get this okay girls I want you to work on your attachment issue okay I noticed that when I'm with someone I am so attached that I want to um, not be with them 24 7 but I don't know I am attached in a weird way like if that person is ugh, I used to have someone who's like extremely attached that person would rather be on the phone every single day all day long and it was draining because I, I would like <laughs> I would allow it I would just accept it okay I would just go with it too I was like oh this is kind of cute he wants to spend time with me no sis work on your attachment style like for real I, I i want to be with someone yeah i want to talk to you in the morning we send each other message oh, we talk on the phone night time before we go to bed we talk on the phone okay fine but we see the problem is every single day all day long that's the issue because I have life to live and you have life to live and some men they just do that because they want to control it and I don't want you to, to suffer if you you need to know your attachment style my therapist told me my attachment style but I forgot what it was because I actually do did the research on it but that's what I'm saying go to therapy because you work on so many things after I saw my therapist oh my god he's amazing I was just like oh wow yeah and then i start working on my attachment i am someone i can be attached to someone but i am quick to detach myself i don't even know what you call that for real if i love you i love you like crazy but do me wrong one time especially when it comes to lying uh see you i will pretend like i never seen you in my life before and you're not gonna like it you won't you won't feel it and you're not gonna like it because i'm just like that yeah so know your attachment style because if you don't know your attachment style, you're going to be suffering a lot in this life and that's with everyone because you need to know yourself that's what i'm saying forget about any man forget about anything work on yourself yeah, because if you know yourself, nobody can tell you about yourself because you know yourself. Invest in yourself is very important and you're not going to regret it. 
okay i'm not saying go out there blow all your money in plastic surgeries and things like that because that's not i will never promote that because that's not me i i was born like this i'm gonna die like this okay i want you to love yourself yeah but invest in yourself go to gym invest in gym if you don't want to go to the gym go and walk okay make sure that you're looking good that you're smelling good you don't have to have expensive perfume in order for you to smell good you can have affordable perfumes that you can wear and smell good wash your hair get your hair done if you don't want to get it done wash your hair pack it properly look nice and presentable trim your eyebrows okay if you don't want to wear makeup make sure that you are taking care of your skin take care of yourself physically mentally like inside and out take care of yourself make sure that your clothes are clean make sure that your nails underneath they are clean never look uh, outside even inside take care of yourself invest in yourself not just in appearance wise but like is it's any course any course that you want to do invest save money invest on it because tomorrow it will pay off don't waste your money don't don't just i know social media can put a lot of stuff in our head we see people in our own age doing things and we feel like we are we are behind forget about it okay focus on yourself focus on your goal save your money do your course and get everything that you want i know when you log in you say oh this person is in tulum the uh, next time they're in disney they're in this and then i can get a lot and you want to do all that like slow down we have to slow down slow living focus on your goal invest in yourself okay once you get there you can do all this all right those places they're not gonna run away forget about what you're seeing online okay limit your time online for real because otherwise it's just gonna mess up with your mental health period so please be mindful of that make sure you are investing in yourself like i said appearance wise course invest in reading read 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 knowledge is power period when you read you open your mind to sort certain so many it opens your mind to so many things self-help books read 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 okay i want you to read period girls i want to let you know whatever you choose right now is that's what you're gonna get in in the future if you choose to take care of yourself now you're not gonna regret it later on in life okay so i want you to make sure that the choices that you're making they are good choice okay it's very very important look after yourself okay nobody will do it for you forget about people that you leave everything to help and things like that forget about it make yourself your priority your number one priority okay because when worst comes to worst people will choose themselves they will not choose you they will leave you behind because they truly they just don't care period and i don't want you to waste your time nor your energy worrying about others and forgetting about yourself because i know you deserve so much so please whatever decision you're gonna make make sure that it's something that you know is going to help you in the future always ask yourself will this be a good decision right now and later on will it help me later on will it help my future kids will it help my future husband whoever just ask yourself questions whatever you're doing ask yourself questions because they're very important and they're going to help you in a long way okay trust people guys i want to talk about this trust trust people but you have to trust yourself more because it's easy for us to trust what other people are saying and we learn to push our gut away you know our body <laughs> when i tell you our body speaks to us in so many ways and we choose to ignore it like when you have that knot in your stomach telling you like this is not a good idea when ugh, you just your heart is telling you like no and you just ignore it like there's so many times that my body will warn me physically towards someone and i was just like oh it's just maybe i'm just not well no your body will literally tell you no there was a time my body shut down on someone because 
my body was just like this is not a good person and i don't want to surround it your body will protect you so listen to your gut whatever never doubt yourself whatever decision you make stand on it never ever ever doubt yourself i suffered with this a lot doubting myself asking myself did i make the right decision no girl you did make the right decision i want you to trust your gut and you're smart okay never let anyone make you second guess yourself never okay you got it period lastly i want to talk about social media social media is a very toxic place and uh, you need to be mindful of what you're consuming who you're following because otherwise you will ruin your life honestly i do not like to go on instagram why because i feel like every time i'm posting on instagram i have to be using filters i no i don't i am gorgeous i am beautiful the way i am but when you enter on social media everybody using filter in there and when you see a video pop up that someone that was not wearing filter it's just like oh you know i know i'm not the only one that feel like that but i have to tell myself i can't do it like i literally have to delete uh instagram app off my phone screen on my home screen because i don't want to see it. i literally have to go type instagram on my phone for it to come up i just don't want to be going there every single day limit yourself on instagram whatever website is affecting you mentally physically like you are doubting yourself you're looking at yourself like oh my god uh, like don't your skin is beautiful okay your body is gorgeous a lot of people are doing uh, doing surgery and when you get in there you look at yourself oh my god my stomach is big but my booty is small my little forget about it this is how allah made you love yourself because you have to remember you're gonna die you're gonna leave this body behind enjoy yourself have fun let loose forget about susie on over there with a big bbl because you don't know truly what Susie, Susie might be suffering with that BBL and you don't even know. So, please, it's not everything you see on social media that is true. People that are flaunting money, I mean, there's nothing wrong with whatever you choose to do with your body, with the money that you have. But if you don't have it and you know that that can affect you, please don't consume it. Literally, you don't have to go in comment section commenting bad stuff. I, I honestly, if I, if I don't feel like somebody's content aligned with me i just unfollow there's nothing bad there's nothing wrong with it just do it for your own mental health okay but yeah guys i want you to love yourself don't doubt yourself you got this you're strong you're beautiful you're powerful don't let anyone tell you otherwise because i know you are all this that i'm saying okay i love you all so much i will definitely <laughs> see you guys on my next video because your girl is not well so yeah, I need to rest a little bit. My energy is going down and I need to rest. So, I love you all. Make sure you subscribe, okay? Thumbs up. And I will definitely see you guys on the next video. Oh, wait. Before you go, make sure you comment down if you have any advice for young ladies out there. Leave it in the comment section. Just be kind, please. And thank you. Bye, besties.